Today's meditation is taken from Proverbs chapter 31 verses 10 to 16 the theme being the worth of a capable wife The woman described in Proverbs 31 is so exemplary and so virtuous so diligent to perform all her duties that women today may find it difficult or even discouraging to try to follow her example They might think how could I ever measure up to such a godly woman Let us look at each of these verses and see how we can apply them to our daily life. Verse 10. An excellent wife who can find she is far more precious than jewels. Who can compete with the woman described in Proverbs 31? She seems absolutely perfect. But this should not discourage us. Instead, she should be an example to each one of us, a goal that we could reach for. one that god himself would help us realize if we put our trust in him and are willing to change god wants each of us to be able to insert our name in this woman's story verse 11 the heart of her husband trusts in her and he will have no lack of gain being trustworthy is a glue that holds a marriage together and the bible says that the husband of a proverbs 31 woman can trust her confidently Verse twelve. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. She is an encourager. We must take an effort and initiative to begin comforting and complimenting those around us, even if nobody else is doing it. We must be eager to be the first to give, whether or not we receive the same back. In doing good to her husband, she is consistent. She doesn't serve him that which is good one day and which is evil the next day. Her husband can count on her to do him good and to be a blessing to him all the days of her life. Her godliness is marked with consistency. Verses 13 to 14 says, she seeks wool and flax and works with willing hands. She is like the ships of the merchant. She brings her food from afar. Our proverb 31 woman is not lazy nor does she procrastinate. She seeks, pursues with all her might to work with willing hands. She does not dread or complain about doing her tasks. Whatever task she is doing, whether big or small, she does it as unto the Lord. Verse 15. She rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and a portion for her maidens. There are great benefits to rising up early. It is a quiet time free from the noise and distractions of the day. an ideal time to spend with the lord she rises up before daylight to spend time with god showing that idleness and laziness have no place with her she knows that she can never be a good wife or a mother and be able to adequately provide for others unless she feeds herself with spiritual food this means that we must also read god's word daily pray and start our day she also has a plan for the day This is so important because if we are vague, thoughtless and have a mentality to wait and watch, we will rarely accomplish anything and will be left frustrated and unfulfilled. We are also told that she gives a portion of food to her maidens. Not only does this speak of her kindness to those working under her, but it also indicates that she demanded of others only what she herself was willing to do. Finally, Verse 16 She considers a field and buys it with the fruit of her hands she plants a vineyard Verse 16 begins by saying that she considers a new field before buying it in other words she seriously thinks about what she is about to do and does not act emotionally without forethought My dear friends being a proverbs 31 woman is not about being perfect it's about living life with purpose diligence forgiveness and repentance the virtuous woman is a beautiful woman not necessarily outwardly but certainly inwardly towards the end of proverbs 31 it is said that many daughters have done nobly and well but you excel them all in what way did she excel them all it means she has done more than miriam the one who led a nation's women in praise of god Deborah the patriotic military adviser Ruth the woman of constancy Hannah the ideal mother the Shunammite the hospital woman Huldah the woman who revealed God's secret message to national leaders 
and even more than Queen Esther, the woman who risked sacrificing her life for her people. She excelled them all by her spiritual and practical devotion to God and her fine tuning to the probing of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Dear God, in today's world, sometimes it's so discouraging to keep up with everyone's expectations. Help me to take my example from the Proverbs 31 woman to take one day at a time and do whatever I can daily to renew and reform myself and to ultimately do everything for you and your glory. Amen.